Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I'm going to bring you along with me as I decorate my living room and entryway for Easter and spring. I think this came out so cute and kind of like an Eastery floral garden, and I think you're really going to love it, so stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that little notification bell, and in the drop-down menu, click all, so you're notified about all notifications. I upload a bunch of times a month and coming into the spring and summer season I have so many great ideas for organization videos Decorate with me's home decor videos home makeovers room makeovers and getting my back patio and Pool area ready for summer. So if any of that sounds appealing to you definitely hang with me for a while by subscribing all right, well, now it's time to start in my living room. Let's get decorating. All right, so the first place I always like to decorate is my mantle, and I'm going to go in with this moss garland. If you caught my last video of my kitchen and coffee bar, you saw that I decorated all around those areas with this garland because I bought two, one to like take the little picks off of or like sprigs off of and then one to actually use as a garland. Now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to kind of shove the garland underneath the mirror to help it stay in place and that way I have room to go ahead and put stuff on top of the mantle as well. I love this moss garland. I got it from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off, and like I said, I got two of them. So that way I can pull one apart and use them as fillers and then one to use as a garland. And I really think I'm going to go back and get another when they go 50% off. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add this window arch. I've just had that for years. And then here's the star of the show. I'm going to add this cute bunny picture that I got from Walmart. And I love it. So I kind of based all my colors and everything off of the flowers in her little crown. Now, there are two other parts of this mantle that are also the other stars of the show, so I'll show you those real soon. But first, I'm going to go ahead and add these logs on either side, and these logs I use all around my house pretty much all year round. They, I just love them. I bought them off of a friend after her wedding, and they come in handy so much. I've used them for birthday parties, wedding showers, baby showers, decorating my own home, just so many things. So here they are. Look at these cute little bunnies. I got them. Um, they were 40% off of $17.99, and I had to have them. Even when I was decorating, my husband was like, okay, they're cute. You know, like, I'll give it to you. <laughs> like, yes, you had to get them. I can see. So he even thought they, they were really cute, too. So I went ahead and placed one on either side of the window. And then on one of those logs, I'm going to actually place this lantern. I have had that for years. I don't even know where it came from from but I thought it might be kind of fun to keep the door open and then on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and place a bird cage when I think of spring I think of birds bird cages things like that and I've had these bird cages for a while too so I'm gonna go ahead and place a little ball of greenery inside and this is just a floral piece that I had and I decided to put it on its side so you could see more and then you see that I raised it up with one of those little candle holders so I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange it so it actually stays up and then it doesn't topple over but yeah I really loved um, I, I just really loved every aspect of how this mantle came out definitely my favorite part of my living room for sure so next, I'm actually going to go in and, okay, now first you're going to see that it's tilted here, but don't worry, I do fix it. <laughs> I do notice and I do fix it. All right, so next I wanted to put like a little nest inside this uh, lantern, but I needed to prop it up. So I just have a glass bowl and I'm kind of just arranging it so it'll stay. And then look at this, you just lay your nest on top and that's it. So now it's propped up and it's so cute. Now I'm going to go in with these flowers, they're roses, and I'm just going to kind of just spread them all over. And you're going to see where I got these flowers from in one second because they're going to they're going to match a garland that I use at the bottom of my fireplace. But for now, I just took little uh, little um, the little flowers off and I'm just going to sporadically put them all around my or all throughout the, the mantle. Should call you and see what you've been up to. I've been wondering. 
Next, I'm going to go in with more of that greenery that I just pulled off the garland. And I'm going to kind of tuck it underneath the lantern and underneath the birdcage on the other side. Just to kind of dress up that log a little bit. I just felt like... I don't know, I just wanted more greenery. Like I said, I wanted this to be like a really pretty flowery garden. So I really wanted a lot of greenery, obviously. Then right next to the birdcage, I'm going to go ahead and add this cute bird from Hobby Lobby. And I liked that the blue matched the blue of the pants of that rabbit. So now I'm going to go in with three little, little eggs. And I'm just going to tuck them in the garland just so they're kind of slightly peeking through. And... Oh, <laughs> there's the baby and if if honestly if you had not seen like it, it, you can't see them from far away you'd have to go up close and I liked that that's what I wanted just like a little detail peeking through I don't blame you and I should call you see what you Okay, moving down to the bottom, I am going to go in with this basket that I've had forever. Actually, I think I stole it from my mom's house. <laughs> and I'm just going to use blankets and pillows to stuff it just to make it a little bit more um, fluffier, I guess. Because I'm going to go in with this pink blanket from Pop Shelf. And I'm going to arrange it so that I'm hiding the... Uh, pillows and blankets underneath, but I want to see the basket because I am trying to bring in those natural wood elements And so I thought that this would correlate well with the two logs that I used up top So I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and then I'm gonna go in with a pillow Now this is actually a pillow case from Hobby Lobby I picked it up last year, but I did see that they had it this year, too And so I went ahead and just put it on one of my random uh, pillows and then this welcome sign I actually had from my daughter's fairy birthday party <clears throat> years ago. So I'm going to stick that in and then just top it off with these, this really pretty spray of florals. And just kind of arrange it so, you know, it's just kind of layered and just peeking out and, and everything. And I, I really love how woodsy and gardeny this little area came out. It's so pretty. So next, we're going to go ahead and move over to the other side. And I'm going to, again, start off with one of these logs. Then I did go ahead and put greenery on, although you're going to see me take it off because it didn't quite work the way that I that I thought. So you'll take see me take that off. But I am going to go in with another birdcage. And this is a bigger birdcage than the one on top. And I thought it would work nicely because now there's one in the other corner that you know, that correlates with this one. So you can see that I'm working the angles in my fireplace and mantle. Now here's the garland that I took those roses off of and I'm just simply going to stuff the garland inside that birdcage to add the, a little pop of pink there because, you know, as you can tell, pink, blush pink is kind of, you know, a, a highlight color here. And look at this cute little bicycle. This was actually my mom's. Um, she let me borrow it to use on my display this year and I'm gonna go in with another one of these little plants that matches the one in the birdcage up top and again I'm working the diagonals so now I'm gonna go in with this happy Easter sign and I'm gonna stick that right in between the birdcage and the bicycle now I kind of took a step back which is always a great idea to do go back and look at it and I kind of realized that the Easter sign needed to be raised up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this piece right here. It's just like a little sign from the Dollar Tree. And this is what I'm going to use as a little riser. And I like it because it's skinny. So I can put things in front of it too. But to go ahead and kind of hide, I was being lazy. I didn't want to steal. I didn't want to like peel off all the um, stickers and everything. So I'm just going to go in with more of that um, moss garland that I pulled apart. And I'm going to cover the top of this. Now, when you stand back, you can't see this at all. I know it's kind of sticking out there. But when I put the bicycle in front, you really can't see it at all. And I really loved that. So once I put the bicycle back, I kind of arranged my pieces and my mantle and fireplace are done and I love it. What do you think? I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can 
tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know With a heart on fire? Moving on to my TV console, I'm just going to go ahead and put this log and put some of that moss greenery on top and I'm going to keep this extremely, extremely simple because... I there's a lot on the going on on the mantle so I just wanted to keep this simple but look at this little piece I had to have it when I saw it at home goods it's a mama bunny with two of her little bunnies and it reminded me of me and my girls so I'm just gonna simply place that on top then for the top of my stand my daughter really wanted me to use these birds again from Valentine's Day so I just went ahead and stuck those on top and then I added a blanket to my blanket basket over there to the left. And that was it for this area of my living room. Sweet and simple, and I, I love it. To the end tables, I, I always keep these very simple too, as you're going to see. But I'm going to go in with a table or with a placemat from Target, I think, last year. And then look at these perfect birdcage uh, photo frames that I had from years ago. So I just went ahead. I do need to go ahead and add a picture of Charlotte. I have a million, both of them right now. <laughs> but I do need to um, add Charlotte. So I just went ahead and put those on each. And then... Here's a new furniture piece I don't think I showed before. I actually bought that off of someone on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So I just thought I would decorate it, too, by throwing a tray, a little floral arrangement, a bunny, and a candle holder. And I thought that was perfect. Then on my chair, I have the matching pillow from Walmart, and it does match uh, that um, picture on my mantle. And then I'm going to add another one to that blanket basket and I thought it was so cute. Now for my throw pillows on my couch I'm gonna go in with this big green pillow and then I have these pillows that are actually pillow covers that I ordered from Amazon last year but I loved them because the little balls around the edges um, match the little balls on the placemat there you can see it right there. Now, to my blanket ladder, again, very simple. I added a Hello Spring blanket, and then I just put some greenery in a hanging basket with some carrots, and that was it to my hanging basket. So I thought that that part was so cute. Next, we're going to move over to the last part of the living room, which is this little table behind my couch. And I'm gonna go in with a Ray Dunn birdhouse and then a family photo. Okay, pause. For the record, I did get another photo developed of the four of us, our family now. But do you think I could find it? No. <laughs> so stay tuned for an updated photo. All right, then I'm just going to top it off with that cute little Easter sign. For the bottom, I'm going to go in with some candlesticks with some pink candles that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to go in and use the aluminum foil trick to help my uh, candles stay in there. I know that one's crooked. Don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with two different heights. And then in front of that, I have this little basket that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And I'm simply just going to uh, fill it with some little like string eggs, these little eggs uh, that I got from Dollar Tree. Then to the other side, I'm going to put this candle, and it smells so good, and it says April showers, which I love, and I'm just going to put that on the other side, and it is super, super simple. Where's your irony? Just smile, why? Because I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Because I just wanted you. And if I could, I'd leave. 
nice. Here's how my living room came out for Easter. I just think it is so bright and airy, and I just love all the colors. It's just, it reminds me of spring. Hi! Are you in your little bunny pajamas? Are you watching mommy decorate for your first Easter? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Are you excited for the Easter Bunny? Yeah. Okay. More work to do. Let's hop to it. <laughs> that's funny. All right, now we're going to move on to the entryway, and we're going to start off with the tree. I'm not going to say this was a fail, but it didn't exactly turn out how I envisioned it but you'll see. You be the judge. So here is what I think I'm going to be using <clears throat> on my tree. I have these little peeps and believe it or not, this is literally all stuff I already had in my stash from last year because I did a haul last year before Easter and never used any of it because I never ended up decorating. So I just have some egg picks, some peep picks or bunny picks, the big eggs, which I was so happy to see that I have. I have these burlap. I don't know if that's going to look good with like the glitter. I don't know. We're going to see. And then I have one thing of yellow tool. I hope it gets me. Um, I hope it fills up the tree. And then I just have some picks here for fillers if I need them. Okay, so first we're going to start off with some tool. Now, I'm not going to really like walk you through every single thing that I put on the tree, especially since I just showed you what I was going to be using. So I'm just going to let the music play and let you watch it all come together. <laughs> I do have some commentary in here that I, you know, that I just said as I was decorating it. So anyways, um, I did end up using all those things. And um, let me know in the comments what you think of my tree. <laughs> From my window, sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day. Marathon, KG saxophone, we'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. To it. Let me bring you closer. Okay, then. Now, I don't really do much to the bottom because the little skirt that I use usually covers a lot of it. I know it needs a topper. It's okay. I don't love it, but to be completely honest with you, Easter is one week from today. So, <laughs> I'm not going to go crazy 
you know, maybe when Hobby Lobby's stuff goes on sale, Easter stuff, like eggs and all that, I can get more and then be prepared for next year. <laughs> ah, okay. We're just gonna leave it. Oh, let's let's do something about that topper, shall we? So for the topper, obviously, I'm just gonna use my bunny ears and put it right on top. And that's gonna be it for now. <laughs> There's my topper for now. I really didn't give this much thought. Um, let's figure out a skirt. So for the runner, I'm just gonna use, or the skirt, I'm gonna use a burlap runner. I've done this trick before. So I actually like using table runners for the little tree skirt because they're small and they're skinny. And I've done this many times. I used um, a table runner. So uh, that's just a little hack for you if you have like a little skinny tree like this, even during Christmas. Don't go out and buy like a big skirt. Just use what you already have or even a long piece of fabric would work too. Okay, I think from far away it looks cute. I need to fix this right here, the tool. But um... I don't know, there are some holes. Um, I think like I said, when Hobby Lobby has their stuff on sale, I'm going to buy some stuff for next year and that way I have it um, and stuff. Although, I do know that in my Valentine's box I have some pink, I might add pink bulbs. Would that be weird? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, this is how it's gonna be for now bad so now we're gonna work on the rest of the entryway this bunny actually came from Dollar Tree plus it was five dollars and I thought it was adorable so did this blanket and I thought it was cute too so I'm gonna add this little pillow on top which is actually a pillow cover and then we're going to move over to the little entryway table so I got this runner oh gosh years ago and I absolutely love it so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on my entryway table then on one side of the table I'm gonna put one of those little tree logs and on top I'm going to put this little pitcher with these really pretty florals that I actually got from Pop Shelf they were three dollars and I thought that they were so pretty I really love that peach color then to the little window thing there, I'm going to hang this wreath that I made in my last video or my last DIY video. And then I'm just going to switch out this greeting card. So that's one of my hacks that I shared in one of the my previous videos to just buy a frame and switch out uh, the picture. And then you can use that frame all year round. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a log on the other side. Then I thought it would be fun for my daughter to decorate this little tree with mini Easter eggs. And she had a really fun time. So after that was all decorated, I went ahead and placed it on top of that log. And then I'm going to add a really pretty bunny that I've had in my stash for years. And this is how my entryway cabinet came out. I really love the peach color, how in the picture it correlates with the peach in that wreath and just the, the pastels and that's just something I really love. So that is how my entryway came out. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about the tree. I don't really know, like I said, I just think I didn't have enough stuff. So I'm gonna have to go when Hobby Lobby has their sale on Monday on Easter decor. Anyways, let me know what you thought about my decorate with me, what you thought about my living room and my entryway. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you got a lot of fun ideas and inspiration on how you can decorate your home for Easter or spring. Don't forget to catch my next video where I decorate my dining room and it is going to be amazing. I've kind of been playing with it already and it's turning out so 
so cool. Hey, if you like this video, consider clicking on this one and don't forget to hit my face over here to subscribe. And until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye.